Third and ten. Third and ten here for Winona Zimbrick under center. Drops back to pass. Scrambling out now. He's got some pressure. Oh, and that pass is complete for a first down for Winona. First and ten for Winona Zimbrick. Drops back to pass. He's trying to scramble now and He's try, he tries to run and brought down for a minimal game tackle by Bill Fay. Correction, that was number 19, Isaac Obermeyer, the junior out of Amboy, Minnesota. About six seconds left here in the second quarter. Score is Winona 13, Maple River nothing. Second and about 11 here for Winona after the sack by Isaac Obermeyer. We got Twins out to the left-hand side of the offense. Make that the right-hand side of the defense. Zimbrick drops back to pass. He unleashes the deep ball. That ball is incomplete. Third and about 11 for Winona. Blair Oaks and Pat Brownhausen on the coverage for the Eagles. Third and about 11 here for Winona. Offense spread out, spreading out this Maple River defense. I'll tell you, those defensive ends are looking for blood now. Heavy pressure, pass complete. And I don't think they got enough for that first down. It should be fourth down and looks, like to, looks to be about two or three for Winona. Fourth down and about one or two for Winona. Spread out offense, Zimbrick working under center, drops back to pass. Is he gonna, he's gonna try to run for it. He's got the first down. First and 10 for Winona after the Zimbrick scramble. Isaac Obermeyer makes the tackle for Maple River, the junior, number 19. Zimbrick drops back to pass now, scrambling out to his right. He's got some pressure. Pass complete for about a four yard gain for Winona. About second and six now. Second and six now for Winona. Zimbrick back to pass again. He lets it go. Incomplete. Overthrew his receiver. Going to be about third and six for Winona now. Maybe River Eagles take a timeout now. Going to be about a 32-yard field goal attempt here for Winona. Trying to make it 16-0 going into the half. Snap, hold, kick is up, and that's the end of the half. Field goal is no good. The Eagles will be receiving to start this second half. Back to receive for Maple River are Kingswell, Bayron, and Jacob Malakowski. Let's get the second half underway. Jacob Malakowski fields the ball. Makes one man one miss, and there he goes, ladies and gentlemen. That is the dangerous speed of Jacob Malakowski. 
Brought down by a host of line under defenders, first and ten for Maple River. First and ten now for Maple River from their own 44 yard line. Isaac Schultz under center now. Eagles first possession of the second half. Dan Stoffer goes in motion. Show blitz. Swing pass out to the wide receiver. He's brought down for a slight loss on the play. Blair Oaks made the reception. About a loss of about one or two on the play for the Eagles. Second 11 for Maple River. Second 11 now for Maple River. Isaac Schultz working under center. Option. Oh! He's brought down behind the line for a loss of a couple on a play. Brought down by number 51, Troy Rickoff, a captain from Winona. Third and about 15 for Maple River here from their own 39-yard line. Third and 15 now for Isaac Schultz and the Eagles, starting from their own 39-yard line. Winona shows blitz, they bring it, option out. Isaac decides to keep it, and he's brought down for a gain of absolutely nothing, maybe even a loss on the play. Brought down by a host of Winona defense linemen. Fourth and about 14 or 15 for the Eagles punting situation here from about their 37, their 36 yard line. The senior, Seth Anderson, set to punt for Maple River. Back, let's see if Winona can bring some pressure on the punter and force a bad kick here to set them up in field position. Good snap. Seth got a very good looking kick. Going to be out of bounds off the side of his foot at about, the referee's going to mark it off at about the 44, 43 yard line. First and 10 for Winona. First and 10 here from Winona. Nice shot, Mapleton skyline there. I formation, straight back. Zebrick, hand, oh, play action. And he's going to be sacked for a lot in the play. That is the senior. Dan Stoffer, number six. Big loss on the play. Wonderful pursuit there by the defensive end. Loss of 13 on the play. That's going to be second and about 23 for Winona. I formation straight back. Oh, snap got muff. And, oh, sack. Oh, incomplete pass. Dump off is ruled incomplete. Not down, not a sack. Going to be second and 20, or third and 23, pardon that, for Winona again. Going to Maple River football. Third and 23 here for Winona. Set. Maple River shows blitz. They bring it. Zimberg back to pass. Could be a screen. Flushed out. Nowhere to go. Oh! Eagles miss a couple tackles. Good stick by Pat Brownhausen. What a hit. Yes, the penalty was illegal, ineligible receiver downfield on Winona. The penalty is going to be five yards from the original line of scrimmage. Winona now comes out after the penalty. Long yardage situation here for Winona. Zimberg under center. Eagles show blitz, but don't bring it. Dumps the pass off. And that's gonna be that's gonna be complete to number three, Marty Moran, a captain. And he's gonna take it all the way in for the touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, that touchdown is gonna be called back on a holding call against Winona. So scratch that, it's gonna be brought back to we're waiting for the call from the referee here. We'll be able to tell you momentarily where the ball is going to be spotted and where Winona is going to be starting from. It's going to be 10 yards from the spot of the penalty. So that'll move Winona back. Looks to be first down for Winona from about the 40 yard line of Maple River. We're going to, Winona's going to have a first and 10 situation now. Pro set and working from the mid. another penalty down on the floor. We'll see what it, we'll see what it is. 